guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> I got these two figures in the mail um, Faye and well, what's his face Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop these were re-released from Mega House and I finally got my hands on them and I'm so freaking happy the box looks so great I'm just gonna get right into it y'all so we got two figures to unbox so I'm gonna try to speed through it a little bit and not spend too much time on one or the other please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think since these two are separate figures i know some people only get Faye and some people only get uh spike so let me know if you got this figure did you get both together or did you just get one or the other i love both of them together I think they look so great and super cool. If you're looking for like a nostalgic anime, I can't recommend this series enough. It's so good. Like just the theme song alone will give you that like wave of nostalgia. It's so freaking good. I love it so much. I mean, my god, I can never, it's one of those like intros that I can never skip. It's so good. It's so freaking good. But um, anyways. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to start off with my favorite, Faye. She's my favorite in the series. I love her so much. She's so badass. She's so, oh my god. I love her. She can like sometimes give me Misato vibes. I think that's another reason I like her because Misato is one of my favorites in Evangelion. So I don't know. She's like that badass woman oh my god oh, i love her so much um so okay let, let's let's get to unboxing her and then i will of course add a b-roll for you guys um somewhere in this video <laughs> so i know going into this it's gonna be a small pretty small figure mega house already produces pretty small figures in general like the this is supposed to be, these both are supposed to be 1 8 and their 1 8 are pretty small. Um, but I don't think I'd mind it as much just because it's two figures together, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so exciting. Am I missing anything? No. Okay. Yeah, y'all, she's like pretty freaking small. Oh, yeah, I forgot she comes with an alternate face, but okay, first off. Okay, so first off. This is her. She's kind of maybe the size of my Hyori figure. She's the size of my Hyori figure, which is also made my mega house. But Hyori is a one tenth, and this Yato is a one eighth by mega house. And he's bigger than Hyori and Fei. But she is supposed to be a 1 8 from what I saw online I can't find it on the box now anyways um, but she looks super good she looks super good I love this um, I love the gold on her clothing this pose uh, both their poses are so good you guys like ah uh, they're so good okay let me go ahead and unbox everything and then I'll give my like final thoughts um i have the base here right over here this base looks so good it's kind of like it kind of looks like it has like two layers almost if that makes any sense like there's this like plastic clear layer and then under it it looks like it has like this shiny light bottom layering to it i don't i don't know if like the camera will catch that but it's kind of like no, it like kind of shines a little bit so cool um, my ring light is reflecting off of it so you probably can't tell but then it says uh, Faye Valentine and then Cowboy Bebop but I love this this is so nice I love the font and how messy it is oh, so good so good oh and then I forgot she does come with an alternate face with her sunglasses on let me see this box, this blister box has two layers to it, so I gotta move stuff out of the way. Sorry if I'm very low energy. I am excited. I'm just like so tired from going to a con that I went to yesterday, but I will do a haul video. I'll try to do a haul video of what I got from there, so stay tuned. But yeah, I'm just a little tired from it. I haven't gone to a con since like COVID, and now I'm like 
getting used to it again. <laughs> Um, but this box is so confusing. Uh, I'm not gonna, oh, I don't know if I should uh, use her alternate face or not, but I'm not gonna take it out for now. Um, this is her alternate face with sunglasses on, uh, so you can have her both ways. I like the sunglasses, but I like seeing their face more. If that makes sense that's why I always hate like getting alt I love getting alternate faces because you have the option obviously but I hate it as well because I'm so indecisive like I don't I don't know what I want to use but we'll leave it in there for now we won't use it I just want to keep it wrapped this looks like it's gonna be so tricky to put together um, this is the background oh, I don't know if you can see that it says boy bop so it's like half the title because Spike is supposed to connect to her and and then he has the rest of the background and I love These shards so freaking much y'all How cool is that like they're breaking through a window or breaking through glass? Oh my god with the poses together and then she comes with a gun too. Ah oh, I love that. It's like catching them in action. It's so cool. It's like taking it straight out of a screenshot from the series. I love that. Um, it also comes with, this is a little confusing, it comes with this backing. I don't know where this is supposed to connect to. And then it comes with like this shard and two more shards of glass or glass. Um, and then we have a gun, which I need to take out and give to her. Okay, and that is her gun right there that we will give to her once we put her on the base and everything. So let me try to figure out how to put this lady in the base. She did come with instructions here, so I see where the extra shards are now, okay. Okay, she has no pegs on her, under her feet, under her shoes. She has a peg right over here on the back. Yo, I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, to be honest, okay. Uh, I suck at instructions, y'all. Okay, seriously, what in God's name? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they're numbered? Girl, what the hell? I don't know what I'm doing, what? Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. No, maybe it is, okay. We're making progress, okay. Shh, I got it, okay. So that's the backing. Um, okay, now for the shards of glass. These are supposed to be numbered, I'm guessing, because they're numbered on the instructions, but not here. Okay, th perfect, great. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna figure this out and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so it's a little easier if you have Faye already connected to the base, but it's still tricky, honestly. Like, these are supposed to be put at an angle and like they barely fit in and you have to like almost force it in a little bit, which is kind of scary because it's it's pretty fragile. So I don't, I was scared I was gonna break it, but I got them in. I still have this thick crystal glass piece uh, that's supposed to go under her foot, but uh, I think it'll be easier to find exactly where it's supposed to go and put it, fit it in there um, once I have Spike connected to her. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I still do love the background, even though it was really hard to like put together. I don't really know why they couldn't just have it put together in the first place though. That's kind of weird, um, but she looks so good nonetheless. I love her so much. Oh, I didn't uh, give her her gun. Where is it? Okay, so I have her with her gun now. Her finger actually goes on the trigger, which is super cool. And I love, I know sometimes some of the PVC or the sculpt doesn't like exactly touch where it has to touch. So I really, I really love that it's accurate. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna clean this up and then we will move on to Spike. Okay, so now I have Spike. I did wanna mention, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I love the box, dude. I love the box and how it matches the theme of the series. It, it looks, uh, it reminds me of the intro that I was talking about earlier. So good. And I kind of like how you don't actually see the figure on the inside. I know it could be convenient to like see, have the clear um, film or plastic 
to, and to be able to see the figure, but I mean, this is just so nice. I love this so much. All right, let's get our boy Spike out of here. From look, just by looking at the instructions, I don't think Spike has that many extra pieces to put together. I think it's just one glass shard instead of three like Faye. Okay, he looks super good. I love this coat so much. He looks so good. Look at him. Ah, I kind of almost think he looks a little better than the prototype. I don't know if you guys who have him already think the same thing, but on the prototype, it kind of, his hair kind of looked rough, but uh, here it's a little smoother, which I actually like a lot better. So I'm glad about that. Look at his skinny ass legs. I love him so much. He looks so cool. He's gonna look so good next to Faye. And then like the belt for his coat um, is bendable too. His paint is a little rough on his collared shirt, but that's fine. I mean, Mega House isn't known to be like the perfect painter when it comes to these things, but he looks good nonetheless. I love him. He looks great. And then his peg or whatever, where you connect him to the base or the back of the glass is right over here. Yeah, and he doesn't have any pegs at the bottom of his feet, just like Faye. I kind of like it that they're almost like actually floating and you don't actually see anything connected at the bottom. Uh, I did want to mention they do connect pretty well to the back of the base or whatever or the back of the glass so I'm not really worried about them falling off or getting loose they don't wobble they're not they're like very snug in there so I really love how they executed this it's so good okay now he actually does come with an alternate face that I think I want to use and he comes let me see if I can get out here y'all there's like so many layers and so much plastic wrapping in here um, I'll just go in order from what I can reach out of this box first. So we will get to the alternate face, but let me show you the base. So that's what popped out of this box first. Of course, same base as Faze, but it says Spike Spiegel on it and Cowboy Bebop. I love it. I love it. So he comes with a gun as well. And then let's see, second layer. So his alternate face is here. Oh, he looks so good. Okay. Oh, he has a really thin cigarette. He looks good. He looks good, y'all. <gasps> ah! So I'm actually just gonna change it now. Oh, you guys, I have so much anxiety like changing these heads. Oh, it comes right off. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, I was so scared it was gonna be hard, and I had to like actually like force pull it off and then break it. So you just slide his alternate head. I got it and now he's smoking his cigarette y'all don't smoke it's bad for you but like he's so cute when he does it <laughs> okay um he does only come with one extra shard of glass it's a thick one just like the last one that I didn't put in for Faye is this video confusing y'all I feel like it's so confusing I feel like I'm all over the place okay I lied he has two Oh my god. <laughs> he has two extra glass shards, but here is the rest of the glass background. So this is cow and bee. She has bop and bo boy or something. Ah, okay, so we've been through this before. I know how to put this on now. So this piece, y'all, if you have this and you don't know how to put it on, you're learning with me. This piece goes right over here somehow just kidding okay see see that slides right in and then this entire piece goes here and this also fits pretty snug too so perfect yeah guys just make sure they're in properly because you don't want because they're connected to the figure and you don't want it fall off okay um i'm gonna put spike in or i'll give spike his gun first that's probably easier and they hold it pretty snug too. Okay, his hand completely goes on the tr trigger as well. It was, it's kind of hard to put it through. Um, and then his hand gets all shaky, so I would be careful. And it's not supposed to come off, so y'all be careful about bending it too much. But we got him in at least, and now we put him on the 
base. And he's gonna look so cool. Okay, he's a little harder to put in than Faye, unless I'm just not doing it right, which is very likely. <laughs> he's in, but I don't even know if I did it right, to be honest. Faye was so much easier, because it goes through his coat and then it goes through his back too. So I don't, I don't know, y'all, I don't know. Um, and then, what the hell is this? He does have three extra pieces. Okay, so he has more than one extra shard piece, too. Okay, <laughs> this is so annoying. Like, why couldn't you just include this? Why do I have to put it together? Come on, y'all. Okay, that was so much easier than Faye's. Okay, so they're over there they don't actually like the bases don't actually like have pegs where they connect or anything so you just fit them like a puzzle piece next to each other the background also doesn't have pegs from what I'm I'm seeing at least that connect as well you just have to line everything up pretty much which is so frustrating yeah and it's just really hard to like I don't know like I can't even get it right now I can barely line it up correctly they're so unnecessarily difficult and tedious to put together and when you try to put them together you don't want to you want to be careful not to break the background like extra glasses or extra shards I still got to figure out how to put these I have like three of them uh, they're supposed to go like near their feet and like you're supposed to put Faye's foot over spikes but from what I'm trying to do it does not go up that far her leg only goes up to maybe like the tip of his foot or any unless I'm like doing this wrong which I I probably am but and then now that I'm kind of looking at it together I think I think it would be better to put Faye with her alternate head I think she would look much cooler even though I really like seeing her face I just think that for this figure it probably would match to put her with her glasses on so i'm probably gonna do that but yeah it's just overall it's a great figure i love the concept i love everything about it i love how they pretty much fit are supposed to fit together it's just such a frustrating figure to put together yeah so i think that's like my only downside to this is so many unnecessary pieces that could have been assembled already and then putting them fitting them next to each other it's just so frustrating but i think i'm mostly in a rush because i'm recording the video so hopefully by the end of this video when you do see an actual b-roll they will be um perfectly aligned and perfectly set up but yeah other than that i really 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 love the figure like i said it looks like you took a screenshot out of a scene from an episode and i love that so much love the alternate heads i love the background i love that it says cowboy bebop i love the the idea of them jumping out the window i love that they're on an angle and it looks like they're teamed up i love the base even though it takes up a lot of space but they're two figures and it's kind of worth it and i kind of knew that going in that it would take a lot of space um i knew that going in before i bought the actual uh, item so other than that i think it's painted pretty nicely except for like a few minor like paint mistakes which is fine like i mentioned like on spike's collar everything else looks great thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, if you like this video like this video if you don't like this video please like this video and leave a comment let me know what you think let me know if you also had any trouble with this too putting it together because i don't or if you have any advice because i just i don't i don't know what i'm doing to be honest um but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon Bye bye guys